Good day. Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. This time, let's do an interesting algebra question from grade 10. It goes as follows. Which of the following is equal to, uh-oh, the square root of 9 minus 6 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 9 plus the 6 square root of 2? All right. Well, here's the quantity. We write it on the board. 9 minus 6 times the square root of 2. That plus the square root of 9 plus the 6th square root of 2. And the question says, which of the following? And I was a little bit sneaky. I didn't list what the following options are. I've taken out the multiple choice options here, just to make it more of a challenge for us. So I basically want to evaluate that expression. Ooh, OK. First of all, I'm having an emotional reaction. That's like a very scary, very scary expression, square roots within square roots. OK, just take a deep breath. So what I'm going to do here is engage in strategy number three, which is engage in wishful thinking. Of course, what my sphere is really about is those square roots. I kind of wish they weren't there. That's a good strategy. I wish they weren't there. So my question is, how could I get rid of the square roots? Well, one way to get rid of square roots in math is to square everything. Let's just do that. So I'm going to take this, this expression and square it. Now remember, the question is to actually find a value for it. So let me give it a name and I'll call it, I don't know, k or something. So let me now square everything and hopefully those square roots will go away and life will be good. That's my wish, at least. All right, um, just to remind myself, a little algebra exercise, that something plus something squared is going to be a squared plus b squared plus some cross terms, 2ab. So let's keep that in track. All right, I'm going to square this expression and cross my fingers and see if it helps out. First term squared, fine, makes the square roots go away. 9 minus 6 root 2, that's it. The square root squared is the quantity itself. Plus this guy squared, oh nice, 9 plus 6 root 2, just get rid of the square root sign, just as my wishful thinking was hoping. But then I get the cross terms, plus 2 times the term and the term, plus 2 times the square root of 9 minus 6 root 2, square root of 9 plus 6 root 2. And all that's going to be the right-hand side squared. All right. I can see some nasty parts disappear right away. Take away 6 root 2, add 6 root 2. I've got 18 there, plus some more square roots. All right. Now, two options. I could either just stare at this and hope something magical happens, or I can engage in wishful thinking again. I wish those square roots weren't there. What might I do? What would you do? Have a look at the essay to go with this video and see if we agree with a good next approach to this question. It's actually kind of clever. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.